Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boys, Old Bad Blood Collectibles. You guys, yes, we got standing before us, you guys. Batman 89 from Mesco 112. You guys, this figure is awesome. Probably the best Batman figure of all time so far that I have with 6 inch, 7 inch, or any inches, you guys. This figure right here is dope. And the best thing about this is, you guys, this dude look just like Michael Keaton to a T, you guys. So, we're going to dive into it. We're going to break it down. We're going to do some articulation. We're also going to do some uh, gallery as well, you guys. we got some photos. You guys, we got size comparison. we got it all coming up right now, you guys, on this channel. But before we go any further, you guys, please give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow, you guys. Let's reach a thousand subscribers. And when we do, yes, a free giveaway will be happening. Also, you guys, you're about to witness the best review for 1989 Batman from Mezco 112. Let's go ahead and dive into the figure, you guys. Let's see what we're getting our hands into today. All right, you guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Zoe, you guys. And before us, we got right here, you guys, Batman 89 from Mezco toys you guys this figure is dope this figure is awesome and we're gonna go over this figure you guys i know a lot of people had a lot of gripes and complaints about the figure we'll get into that in a minute also with the capes putting them on we'll get into that in a minute you guys but i'm telling you i heard it all not only that you guys but when i saw the figure on YouTube do someone else channel because I wanted to get the Mezco figure when I did my SH figure art review because I was I ordered the Batman car from Amazon which I got canceled on and I was pissed you guys I'm talking about piss so I ordered this guy because I'm like man I need a bigger figure SH figure arts uh, Batman 89 is too small, so I'm going to swap them out because I can't find the Michael Keaton Batman right now. And I'm running out of patience because on April 19th, my Batman car is arriving and I'm dropping a video right away as soon as it comes. I'm going to go to Home Depot, get some paint so I can spray the top of it and then get that mesh paint and then make it and just customize it real fast. And boom, by that night, I was going to drop my video, you guys. And yeah. They never fail. Every time I do a pre-order for Amazon, I never get it. So, yes, like before, and again, this will be my last time ever doing any pre-orders from anywhere. I will never do this again. So, with this guy, a lot of people did pre-orders three years ago. Three years ago, and they just now getting their Batman figure. Lucky for me, the pre-orders that uh, they that people bought for this dude, I didn't do no pre-orders, you guys. I went to my local comic book store and it was just sitting there. It's been sitting there for two weeks, but it just won. So I went over here and picked them up, you guys, and I swapped out my SH Figure Arts. I sold that to them and I picked up this dude and the money I got off of that, I put towards this Batman right here. And I'm very, very thankful and very glad that I did. Even though I saw other people's video and review of this dude, man, he looked horrible because the head, like it was too big for the cape, for the body, which... I do have some guys to complain about that, but on the on the same thing, you guys, is for the fact that they wasn't putting the cape on right. So the way that I saw Batman, I was like the Michael Keaton Batman from Mexico. Like, there's no way I'm getting that because look at the head is like it was sticking up like this, sticking up over the cape. And I'm gonna show you what I did for me personally because I would never swap out the cape unless the cape rips and then I'll put in the other one but I'll put bendy wires in that one too because that cape that you see on there right now you guys is the bendy wire cape but not only that I added more bendy wires in there into all the slits which we'll get to which we will get through while we go on through this video you guys yes and I will show you how I did that as well and then also what I did with the cape uh and the neck right here you guys so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into Michael Keaton Batman. Now, you guys, now we remember if you was an 80, a, a 80s, early 90 kid, you remember watching this movie all the time. This was our Batman. And th to me, this is my second favorite Batman of all time. First one, I do have to give it to Ben Affleck. And I just wish I could have saw that movie of Ben Affleck playing Batman and that style and with that costume that he had from um, the Batman vs. Superman. That was dope, you guys. That where I'll see 
hit me up in the comment section below if if you think that round scene was the best uh fighting scene that you ever seen from any batman movie of all time you guys so like i said that was my favorite one. And then the second is this one. So hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Also, what is your favorite Batman of all time? And what is your favorite costume of all time as well, you guys? So with that being said, let's go ahead and take just a minute of the Batman from 1989, you guys. Michael Keaton. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so with that being said, don't this dude look just like Michael Keaton? Don't he look just like he does in the movie? Oh, yes, he does. Masco killed it with this dude. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this dude, you guys. Look at that. Just plain awesome. I'm going to hit the light, you guys. Got my camera moving. But, yeah, you guys, look at this. This day looks freaking amazing. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Look at the suit. The, the color of the suit just fits Really, really nice. Love the yellow belt on there that he has on there. I love the sign. I love the suit. The suit looks really good. And I love what they did down here. Love this little uh, part that they did with the legs, you guys. Just awesome. And then also, I love the way that they did the shin guards. And then also, he has the Air Force shoes or the Jordans or whatever it was that he was wearing. I didn't even know they even had those on there, but those are Nikes, you guys. So that's pretty dope right there. And I thought it had the Nike sign, but they say like they removed those. But man, this this is awesome. This is probably Mezco's best work right here as far as Batman, you guys. This is the, probably the best Batman of all time, you guys. I really do love this figure a whole lot. I think I love it so much because I'm a huge fan of the Michael Keaton Batman. And so glad to see that he's coming back in the Flash movie. What would Flash movie be without Batman? I'm watching a Flash movie for Batman for General Zod. So let me know what you're watching it for. So anyways, you guys, this dude looks really good. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and discuss the cape first. And then we're going to go over uh, how you put on the cape. And then after that, we'll go over with the accessories, you guys. But real quick. So it comes with two capes, you guys, too. So, I don't know if this one is just supposed to be on there for like a drape. This is the one without the bendy wire. As you can see right here, we got this horrible net thing right here, which was a pain in my butt, you guys. And I, only because I was doing it wrong, I didn't know how to put it on there at first. And then I just stopped. It took me like 40 minutes to try to get it on there. And then I just flipped the figure upside down. And then I put it in there. And what I did was kind of pull on the cape as I put it down put a turn it back over and then put the cape down and then stuck it in there you guys and then as I was like posing it taking pictures it came off again I had to do it again it's like man this is a pain so what I did was took some crazy glue because I ain't ever posing Batman without his cape and then put that bad boy on there and make sure it sticks and if it breaks oh well I still got another one and I'll put some bending wires in this and what I did with the cape was this is this is the regular cape right here and this is the bendy wire cape but what i did you guys is i just put added extra bendy wires in here as you can see there has little slits here and you just put those bendy wires in there and you're good you guys so go wherever you can this one is cheap i got it from i think target or walmart yeah and i just put those in there and put two of them in there cut two pieces put two in each one and man i got me a flowing batman cape you guys so let me show go ahead and show you about the head situation so right here it got kind of dirty because i had a uh, i actually dropped the paper towels wiping my hand and the paper towel fell on the figure right here so it got kind of dirty but as you can see it's on there really really good you guys so if something happens if it's rips or tear i'll just break it apart and then put this one on and then do the exact same thing that i did to this one and then if that one breaks just get a custom cape you guys that easy this figure is an easy fix everyone's complaining about it because no one had no idea how to put the cape on and then people start figuring out way later later i know a lot of people that was doing their reviews uh they were like very very unhappy with it some of them damn it uh wasn't even able to put the the cape on but like i said boom i figure it out flip the figure upside down Put the thing on, and then after I brought it back on onto the uh the right side that he's stand where he's standing up, I just pulled down on the cape and just stuck it in there, you guys, and then I crazy glued it. Now hit me up in the section comment section below if you think that was a good idea. 
or if you think it was a bad idea. So with that being said, another gripe and complaint that people were talking about that I didn't have no gripe and complaint because I'm used to that. I do have a silicone figure from TB Lee and that is uh, my Egyptian figures. And yes, uh, it comes with the white powder stuff, the f uh, film or whatever it was that was on the figure. That's because it's protecting the figure. But as you can see, my uh, Batman uh, bodysuit looks great. Black. I mean, when I pulled this dude out, you guys, this dude was so gray. This was black. This was solid gray. And then the shoes right here, the boot, I mean, the shin guards was black. And then the shoes were kind of like powder too, you guys. So I went on ahead and fixed that as well. And now we got the perfect Batman, you guys. This dude is awesome. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. And look at the cape, you guys. This is what I love so much about this figure. It's for the fact that this cape is just playing out downright just dope. You guys, look at that. And it, you can do it for both sides. This thing stays up. Don't go down. And if you do, all you do is just bend it. And boom, you have your flowing cape of Batman. So go ahead and do that right now, you guys. If you're wondering, should you do it? Go ahead and do it right now. But I'll tell you this right now. I still got to cut some more off. I was taking pictures with this thing last night. Stayed up forever trying to find the best pictures for this dude. And yeah, you guys, this dude turned out really, really good. Now, another thing that I was afraid of was the head scope itself. Was it too big for the body? At times, but I noticed, like, in the movie, I, I went and rewatched Batman 1, like, recently. I watched it twice because that's how much I loved it. And man, I watched it the first time, fell in love with it. I watched it again two times in a row, and it was great, you guys, for me, because that was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. But it is really good, you guys. So let's go over the head scopes while we're here since we're talking about it. So this is a head scope right here. We got this one that just like Michael Keaton, open mouth. This one looks really, really great. You can see the eyes in there. Everything just looks great, you guys. This dude looks really, really cool. Look just like Michael Keaton. So let's go ahead and pull that one away. And then this is the beat up one. I love this one a lot. And I don't know why, but when you when he's fighting and fighting scenes, you guys. I think this would do a really good job, and that looks really, really cool. Look, just like uh, Batman, you guys. Look at that. Look, just like the movies, you guys. Just dope right there. When, remember when he came up, and somehow when he came upstairs from the bell house when the thing dropped, uh, he had no blood on him. Then all of a sudden, the next scene, you see he had a cut on his face. That was kind of funny. But yeah, you guys, look at that. Look, just like Michael Keaton right there. And then we also got a third head scope right here. And this one is with the moving eyes. I thought I wasn't going to like this at all, you guys. But when I was taking photos, it worked out just fine, you guys. As you will see uh, in a minute, you guys, the photos came out really, really cool. I really do love them. I wish I could have spent more time. But because I went to my collectible store and I found Ghost Rider, you guys, the Spirit of Vengeance. Yes, from Mezco. They just dropped that figure. And I didn't even pre-order. I didn't even know that they was even coming out with it. And when I saw that thing there, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm going to tell you about that later because we, we got to get this. I got to get through this review with this amazing Batman figure, you guys. So with that being said, he comes with four, guys. Not one, not two, not three, but four head sculpts, you guys. And here they are right here. All four of them right here look like, just like Michael Keaton. They all are really done well, you guys. Even Batman, even though right there, like, he has a crazy eyes just staring at you like, what the, what you gonna do? What the, uh, you look weird right now. That's how he's looking at us right now. But, guys, I'm telling you, works good. And then cameras, with the cameras, when you're taking photos, I love doing uh, toy photography. That's my thing. So, yeah, you guys, you'll see. You'll see in a minute. But let's finish going over the accessories. And then we'll go over the, uh, the gallery of the photos. And then after we do the photos, and then we'll go over the articulation. And then we're going to call it a day, you guys. So that's it for the head scopes. Let's go over the hands. Now, Mesco always do this. They don't give us the exactly the, the same as the left and the right. And you only get that with probably uh, your closed fist, you guys. So the first one is we got a left hand right here. Open left hand. Done really, really well, too. Look at that, guys. Look at the detail that Mesco put into this thing. Look at that. Way better than SH Figure Arts. And go check out my review for SH Figure Arts and, and let me know what you think about that. This is the right hand right here. We got him holding something right here. He can hold his, uh, let's see, he can hold his gun. I mean, his Batman thing that he holds right here. 
You can just put it in his hand like that and it fits great, you guys. And also, this is the communicator. It's something that he used um, to call his car, I believe. Maybe. Hit me up in the comment section below. I think I forgot. So, that's dope right there. So, that's two. Uh, that's uh, one pair of exchangeable hands. Then he also come with another pair. These two. One seems like it's for his holding his grapple gun. And the other one is a holding hand, which works really good, especially when he's getting beat up. You might want to use that when he's holding his stomach or something, you guys. Looks really, really good. Really, really dope. And then he also got these right here. Another pair right here. And these two are for his bat rings. You could throw them in either hand. And yeah, you guys, just looks really, really cool. And where is the other one? I know there was more. Let's see. One, two, three. I don't know what happened to the other one. Did I drop it on the floor? Oh, man, don't tell me I dropped it on the floor, and I think I did, you guys. But that one is for the shooting hand, so let me see if I can find that real quick. Be right back. All right, you guys, so I don't know where it is, but I'll probably find it if I am missing it. But we got to keep going on with the video, you guys. I'm not going to let that stop us. Let's go ahead and go over this thing right here. Remember this thing? He shot it when he was holding the girl. When he was about to save her, this thing open up right here, which is really good. You'll see it in the photos as well, you guys. This is done really, really nice. Looks really, really cool right here. Love this. It came with the SH figure arts as well. But I like this one a whole lot better. Just be careful when you're putting it on, you guys, because you don't want to scratch up the silicone on the figure, you guys, or the texture of the figure. And then right here, we got not one, not two, not three, but we got four bat rings, and they're all the same, you guys. So I'm just going to show you the just this one right here, which is really good right there. So let's go ahead and move that out the way. Then we also got this little thing right here that you can put in the gauntlet, you guys, when he's shooting his uh, his gun, you guys, to... Uh, his uh, grapple gun, you guys. So, yeah, that kind of, Oh, no, this is the communicator that he holds to tell his car, car on, car stop. This is what this is for. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what that's for. Yeah, that's dope right there. I didn't even know that to now. And then this is pretty neat right here, guys. We got his grapple gun. And then this piece right here. These two go together. They magnetize. And you just put these two on each other, and then you stick this on his belt, and it sticks really good, you guys. Look at that. So, I'll show you that in a minute, you guys, uh, with these two. Or we could do it right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it right now. So, what you can do, you guys, is this thing is magnetic right here. So, all you have to do, this is what I did when I was taking pictures with it yesterday. And uh, I put it to the side. How did I have this thing? So, I did it like this. Boom. Here. I put it more there, and then this piece right here is magnetized as well. And all you're gonna do, you guys, is just take that piece, and boom, there you go. Batman got his grapple gun on his waist, you guys. That is dope right there. Awesome future, and it, I mean, awesome piece, you guys. And it looks good when you're doing photos. I ain't gonna lie, it's, it looks really, really cool. It make it even that much more real, you guys. And then we also got this thing you can stick at the end of the grapple gun. And remember, he caught the guy in the beginning of the movie and then pulled him down on the floor, uh, which you saw earlier. Yes, this is it right here. You can put that inside the grapple gun as well. And then also, we got this thing right here that you could put in the grapple gun as well, you guys. That's dope right there as well. And then you can swap it up. You either put this one in here, I believe. This is another one, like an arrow, like an extra head. And then we also got this thing right here. And I don't know what that's for. So that is pretty dope, you guys. Pretty freaking amazing right there. And then last but not least, we also got one of these darts right here. And I got one from an SH Figure Arts. I forgot to put it in the box. So now I have two of them right here, you guys. One is smaller. Are they both the same size, actually? So that's pretty neat right there. So now let's get down to business. You guys, overall, this figure looks dope. I'm going to give this dude a hundred, you guys, because this dude looks freaking amazing. And yes, the head sometimes looked bad at different angles, but that's just how his costume was. Even in the movie, that's how it was. And not only that, you guys, he don't have no articulation in his head. Of course he don't, because in the movie, he doesn't even have articulation in his head. So, of course, they just made this thing just like, they, like he was in the movie. This is just how he is now, you guys. But this is just one dope figure right here so before we go over the articulation you guys i must say i have never seen a batman figure done done this well for this scale right here you guys 
I am so glad I got this figure and I heard that it fits good in the Batman car as well. And it sucks because I want to show both figures off with the Batman car and with Michael Keaton Batman from 89 right here. I don't need the McFarlane figure 89 Batman because I don't like it. Don't like the head scope. Don't remind me of Michael Keaton. But this right here does and this is what I'm, I'm going to stick with you guys. This is just dope right here. This figure is just Play out the dope, you guys. Amazing. Awesome, you guys. This thing is just dope. Yes. I am so excited right now because, man, I just, I got lucky, you guys. I got not only the Michael Keaton Batman, you guys, but I got me an awesome, awesome figure that I always wanted. Always wanted a Michael Keaton Batman, and this one just blew it out the water, you guys. This thing is just dope. So, with that being said, and I'm excited as well because I got my Ghost Rider figure that I didn't even know was coming out. Didn't even pre-order it. And the guy just pre-ordered it and his pre-order just dropped yesterday. The guy that owns the collector shop, uh, he's a really good friend of mine. And man, he was like, you really want to buy it? I'm like, yeah, I want to buy it right now, right now, right now. I want that figure. And he gave it to me, guys. So I'm just like really, really happy. And surprised that that figure was there, but I was able to get it. I wanted to get the Mexico Superman, but I'm going to wait on that. Get that another day because it's all about Ghost Rider and my man right here, Michael Keaton. I got to give this dude all his glory because this is my favorite superhero. And not only that, you guys, I grew up on Michael Keaton Batman. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the photos, you guys. We'll be right back. Alright you guys, so let me know what you think in the comment section below about the photos, the photography. I try to do some things different. This is not an easy figure to do photography with, especially when I don't have a lot to work with you guys. So I just did my best. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the photography. Do you like it or could it have been better? And you guys, let me know how I'm doing on my review as well. So com like, 
comment, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and go over the articulation, which everyone's probably been waiting for. Now, I do have to say, you guys, with the articulation, I wish, like, I know it's a silicone body, and I know it has that metal frame underneath it, and I saw it on, um, we all saw it on YouTube on one of the shorts, what's underneath this, uh, the silicone, which I was kind of disappointed in that. But it actually works out really good. You just got to learn how to work the figure. So I learned how to work it. At first, I thought, I was like, man, I'm going to break this thing. But overall, you just got to be gentle with it. And I do have instructions here if you don't know how to use your figure. And I, I advise you all to go see, like, what's underneath it. So that way you get a better idea how the figure looks. Because they don't show you in here. But, yeah, you guys, just simple stuff like that. Uh, would get you the uh to learn how to pose your figure a lot better. And then on the other side is the cape stuff, which everyone had a problem with. They should tell you to flip the figure upside down, but they didn't tell us that. So, anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move this nice stand out the way. Love this stand. Love the original Batman symbol in here. It's gonna be dope, you guys. When I do get my stuff set up, and I'm not gonna set him on the shelf until I get my Batman card. And I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm just gonna wait patiently. Find it in the store and get it. I'm not going to pay these $250 for no Batman car. That's not even worth that much money, you guys. I'm sorry, but it's not. So let's go ahead. We already know what's going to go on with the articulation with the head. There's nothing going on with the head. I'm going to let you know that now. But what I did in the pictures and the photos is I will lift it up just a little bit and then turn it at little angles. If you want to do that, you could do that. That's There's nothing wrong with that. But another thing is, you guys, don't get the stool in crazy pose and then leave them like that. Because with the silicone body, you don't want to do that. It will start tearing over time and keep it away from any sunlight as well, you guys. So he might go back into the box until I get my Batman car. And then when I do, he'll be on the shelf. But it'll be all set up because this is like one of my main Batmans now and my go-to Batman. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. Finally, you guys, we got a T-pose, you guys. And what's crazy is he don't only do a T-pose, but you can go even higher, you guys. That is freaking amazing. And it's just crazy, like, how you could get this dude moving inside this Batman suit like this. And it's all in silicone. Look at the back of it real quick, you guys. I, I wanted to make sure everyone get a good look at this figure. So they could go ahead and buy if they want to, you guys. But yeah, this thing is just freaking awesome. Real quick, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, I used this to wipe the figure down and uh, then I dried it with another paper towel and the figure looks really really good not greasy not slippery it's just perfect just fine you guys so that's just freaking amazing that this dude came out this good so he could do a t-pose here you guys and then not only that you just bring the arms down and then you pull it back just be gentle with it know that like I said just be careful because on a silicone body but you get this dude in all kind of crazy poses look at that and I, this thing could bend all the way. It's just as good as a double jointed elbow, you guys. But just be careful because, like I said, it's silicone. And then right here, I know a lot of people had rips and tear in theirs. Luckily, I didn't. I got lucky, you guys, right here where the, uh, the gauntlet is right here or the wrist gauntlet is. So I got lucky with that. But, yeah, this dude could go all the way back like that that much. And then forward this much, he could get him into his punching pose, which you saw earlier and the photos that I had him in when he was fighting against Killer Croc. I should have showed more of Killer Croc, but maybe in another video. Uh, I just took too long. I wanted to hurry up and get this video out the way because I was so excited to do a review on him and talk about the figure. So you can get him just like that, you guys. You also can get him. I'm going to take this off his, off his side while I'm moving him, you guys. And you can also get him to go like this. You can get him holding his hand like this. You can have him sitting on a statue like that, folding his arms like that. It's just freaking amazing. Or when he gets beat up, as you saw, he was holding his stomach, you guys. So a really, really good job with articulation on the upper body, you guys. Now, a lot of people say, oh, he doesn't move forward. He don't have an ab crunch. He don't have that. I saw a couple of people reviews, and they didn't even bend this dude over, you guys. But this dude has a really great ab crunch. And not just an ab crunch. You could turn him, uh, you could turn him all kind of ways. But like I said, you just got to be careful. So look, he can move like that. Let's put them back right here. And I hope I don't break my figure. And then you also can move them that way. Look at that, you guys. And he's still standing straight. So whatever they were saying, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't have swivel. I don't know what they were talking about. 
That is not true. And if you want them to get on the look up, you can easily just bend them back like that, you guys. And then, how do you get them walk? Now, this is a strange thing. Like, with me, I was like, man, because when you bend it forward, like, it doesn't go forward, like, all the way. But this is how I was doing it. And hit me up in the comment section below if you were doing the same thing. So, I actually had to bend it like this. See? You see how it goes down like that, you guys? And then, you could actually, let's see how I did it the last time. Let's see. Yeah. So now the figure moves backwards. And it's crazy how the way that it works. I don't know why it's like that. And then also in the front right here, you have to actually bend it at a crouch. Now, I don't go all the way straight out. It's not letting me. So this is the farthest I can go with this figure as far as um as far as the articulation goes. Like moving his legs forward. It seems like it doesn't want to give me... Like a straight up raise from him with my figure. So hit me up in the comment section below. And let me know what you think. Am I doing it wrong? Because this is how much I can go up with this figure. And it's crazy because like I'm not used to that. That's the only thing I didn't like about this figure. That's my gripe was for the fact that, um, yeah, you guys, I just don't know about the legs. It's my only downfall about this figure is, is for the fact that I can't get them like to go straight and bend, but I'm not going to do it that much anyways, even though I like to do it when he lands or if I'm taking pictures or if he's beating up someone, but you could do that. Like everyone open their legs up anyway. So I guess they try to make it real as possible. So at the same time, I can't really complain. You guys, it does this job and he does what he needs to do. You get this dude in any poses to make him look like Michael Keaton, Batman. You know, for the 89 Batman, this dude wasn't doing a lot of stuff like Ben Affleck was doing. Ben Affleck was just straight out beast, man. Just a beast. But Michael Keaton, if he was in this time, I think he would be still be the best Batman of all time. If he was in this time. So we're about to get that chance to see him again. But he's way older. This dude's almost 70 years old. Or I think he is 70 playing Batman. So it's going to be really exciting to see what he's going to bring to the table you guys again as Michael Keaton but I'm watching Flash movie just because Michael Keaton's in it otherwise I probably would not watched it but Ben Affleck Michael Keaton sign me up anytime you guys those two right there are my favorite Batman so to see them both in the same movie is just dope so that's it for articulation you guys so articulation I'm gonna go ahead and give this figure a uh, a 9 out of 10 for articulation and the reason why I didn't give him a 10 articulation like I said is I wish it could have been a little bit easier in the legs like it is for the rest of the body, you guys. If the legs were a lot easier, I would have probably given this figure an overall 10 for articulation as well. So this figure is almost perfect. To me, it would have been perfect, but the legs just gave me a lot of problems. And I get scared sometimes ever since I had my uh, Mezco Bishop figure and his arm broke on me. I was really disappointed in that, you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do some size compared some size comparisons you guys excuse me so with that being said i'm going to do some marvel legends as well and mcfarland and see how this dude stacks up with both of these and then also we're going to do mezco as well so the first one i got right here is um we got a marvel legends uh this dude the iron monger the one that drives the iron monger uh we got him right there forgot his name but there he is and yes Michael Keaton's taller than here, and this dude's probably way taller than the SH Figure Arts Batman. I'm pretty sure he is, because that dude was tiny. Go watch my review on the SH Figure Arts. Let me know what you think about that Batman, 89 Michael Keaton. And here's a McFarlane figure, and I use this dude as Harvey Bullock for uh, Batman. And I think he works really good with Batman as well, and he's also fat and stuff. And yeah, he is taller than Batman, but it still works. You just get the, when you're taking photography, when you're doing the photography, you know, you just put them in a way to manipulate the height differences, you guys. And then we also got this dude right here. Uh, like one of the bad guys. Yes, they are taller than him. These are 7 inch right here. Both of these figures on the end are 7 inch. And then the Marvel Legend in the middle. You guys, let's go ahead and move them out the way. We still got some more. I'm just going to do some 7 inch right now. We got also a movie line, King Shark. This is the Walmart exclusive for mine. So I didn't get no blood on mine. 
But here he is right here, standing next to Michael Keaton and Batman. These are both movie figures. And this dude towers over Batman, which is dope because they both from the movie, you guys. And look at that. Boom. King Shark right there. So while we got King Shark up, up there, let's go ahead and do this one, Killer Croc. I use this Killer Croc because he looks more real and looks more uh, better. It looks better for this Batman, for Michael Keaton, Killer Croc right here, you guys. So... I thought that was really dope, and he looks good as well standing next to him, but he towers over Batman, and he's one of my tallest uh, bad guys from McFarlane DC Multiverse, even though he's not from McFarlane, but I do have him in my McFarlane clan. So let's go ahead and move him out the way. Let's go on with the show, you guys. We also got a McFarlane Batman right here from the 69 or wherever he is, which is the original one. If you're a real true collector of Batman, you know you got to have this dude in your collection right here. And yes, I do. Boom, bam, bang. And here he is standing next to Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton towers over this dude. Even though this dude is six inch, Mike, Michael Keaton's taller than him. And Michael Keaton looks way better than him. Looks way better than him. So let's go ahead and get him out the way. How does he look next to Bane? We got a Bane from McFarlane, you guys. Real quick, boom. Here's a size comparison between them. No, a lot of people might... I uh, want to see that and he looks good. You can both put these two in a good scene together and they will look great You guys, I'm just so thankful that I got a Bane figure man Go check that review out and get that video a like as well But just be mindful. I didn't add like this is before I knew that I could put my pictures and I could uh, I knew how to edit and put my pictures in my videos So you ain't gonna get no photography like you think you're getting for my latest videos you guys and then also I use this dude as my butler and this is a butler, Alfred, from uh, but it's from the other Batman uh, show that came out a while back. I think it was called Gotham. So here he is right here, standing next to Michael Keaton, Batman. And like I said, you can manipulate the height and make them see like they together, you guys. And then one more from 7-inch, and then we'll move on to some Mezco stuff, you guys. And that is my uh, Commissioner Gordon, which is right here. And boom, yes, you guys. Also, this dude is 7 inch as well, so he looks taller, but you can manipulate the uh, height with the uh, camera. And then real quick, one of my favorite uh, uh, bad guys from the uh, DC Multiverse, and that is my favorite one. And I don't know where that I put that dude. I'm looking all for him, you guys. Searching for this dude. I don't even know what I did when I in a sucks because I really want to show him off. Oh, here he is just sitting right in front of me. And... Boom, here he is. He's soft good too as well. This is, was an exclusive from um, DC Direct, I believe, you guys. But boom, both of these are from the same movie verse, you guys. This is dope right here. And uh, you can see that both of these look really good together as well, you guys. So awesome job right there. If Mezco bring out a Joker, I'm definitely going to buy that. So I can match him up with... My uh, Batman right here. Let's do some Mezco figures and then we'll call the quits, you guys. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, real quick. Here he is standing next to a Mezco Hellboy. This is one of my uh, favorite uh, Mezco figures that I have up to date, you guys. And this dude just looks freaking awesome right here. And I uh, still haven't done a review on him, but a review is coming soon. Here's one of my other favorite figures. This is uh, Logan. Old Man Logan right here. The comic books was pretty good. And uh, I apologize. I think I could have done a better review on this dude. But overall, go check his review out that I did of him as well, you guys. And he's short like he should be. The SH Figure Arts was way too short because he was taller than the SH Figure Arts. And now this dude is way shorter than Michael Keaton Batman. And Michael Keaton Batman is almost taller than Hellboy himself with the ears. He is taller than Hellboy, so that is dope right there, you guys. Look at that. Boom. So let's go ahead and move these two out the way real quick. And then I'm going to bring in some more figures, you guys. And then we're going to call the quits. And we got three figures left, and then that will be the end of the video, you guys. And then we also got Royal Rumble, uh, Craig 13 from uh, Mezco Toys as well, you guys. You got this dude in here. I have him going against Batman as a bad guy, you guys. So that's dope right there. And you can see how he lines up with Batman. Batman's almost uh, the same height. And then this figure right here um, is from Tanashi's Nation or something like that. But she's dope as well. You can actually put her in there with Michael Keaton as well if you want to do some pictures like that. I thought that was pretty dope. And then one more just to try some crazy stuff. Just to say like 
man, what what would this dude look like fighting against like um like um supernatural stuff? So right here, you guys, and he does he fight against that bat, and then I also want to uh to do Clayface. But that one looked too much like a cartoon, so I'll say that one for another day, you guys. I haven't opened up that one yet. But here we are with this werewolf right here. I forgot what line this is from. And this looks good going against Batman as well. You can have him fighting against Batman. So I thought that was dope, you guys. So my overall view of this figure, you guys, I'm going to give this figure a 9.8, you guys. This dude could have been a perfect figure. And only reason why he's not being a perfect figure is for the fact that the legs, I just wish it could have been done a lot better where it's not so difficult with the legs because the legs are sometimes could be a pain in the butt, you guys. But overall, this figure right here is going to definitely get a 10. You can, I mean, uh, the overall look definitely get a 10, probably uh, way higher than a 10, you guys, because this thing just looks freaking awesome. And then... Um, the overall articulation, I'm gonna go with a 9 out of 10 because, guys, I do have to admit, for the suit that he has, the silicone suit, and this dude has that much articulation, this is an awesome figure right here, you guys. So, overall, this dude's gonna get a 9.8, you guys, almost a perfect figure, and I never give people a perfect, uh, a figure of 10 unless I know what they are from, but from Mezco, I just expect a little bit more with the legs uh department you guys but overall this figure is just dope so with that being said you guys i told you i'm gonna do something new if i love a figure if they did a good job i'm gonna say boom nailed it yes you guys they nailed this they sealed this up in the coffin and man they dropped the mic on this you guys this dude is dope right here Go buy this figure, you guys. Do not pass up on this Michael Keaton Batman. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. Trust me, you're going to want to get this dude. Get him while he's still available because I can see this dude going for at least easy 300 bucks, you guys, when it's all said and done, especially after the Batman movie comes out. I mean, the Flash movie comes out. Uh, this might even go higher, you guys. So go get this dude. Do not pass him up. This is a must buy, especially if you're a Batman collect uh, collector, you guys. I am. I'm a huge fan. Batman's my favorite character. So I had no choice but to go ahead and get this dude. Sucks that I had to get rid of my SH figure arts, but I couldn't have both. And then uh, he was just way too short. But with this one, you guys, this figure is freaking amazing. So. Go get your figure today if you can. Go ahead and pre-order them. If you want to get them on eBay for a higher price, go ahead and do that as well. I would, and I wouldn't regret it at all, you guys, because this figure is a really, really awesome figure. Probably a runner-up for my uh, figure of the year, you guys, for 2023. And that's what it looks like so far because until I go over my review, it actually... Uh, full around with my uh, ghost, my Ghost Rider uh, figure that I just got. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna say right now, this is probably one of my best figures that I ever have in my collections from DC and Marvel, you guys. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this figure right here. Let me know what you think about the photography and the review. Sorry, the video was long, but it needed to be because I wanted to go all out on my Batman figure right here, you guys. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, you guys. Like and subscribe. Let's reach 8,000 subscribers. Hit that notification bell when I do drop that Ghost Rider Spirit Avengers figure from Mezco 12 as well, you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great night.